Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about overall credit quality in the commodity space. I'm joined by Tom Waters. Tom's a managing director, head of the oil and gas team, uh, based here in New York. Tom, thanks for joining. Happy to be here, Mike. Thanks. Okay, first question. Why don't you go through it? What is our overall credit quality outlook in the commodity space? Uh, the credit quality outlook pretty much mirrors the overall corporate credit quality, and that's a stable outlook. And the factors that are driving that are very similar to the overall uh, corporate credit quality outlook. Particularly when you talk about commodities, we're talking about GDP-type businesses. And as you know, the economy is rebounding. It's sluggish, but it is rebounding. Uh, also, I think the fears behind the European sovereign debt crisis have been abated with a bailout package. Also, companies are flush with cash, and quite frankly, their balance sheets look pretty strong and healthy. They've been able to reduce debt and refinance some of this wall of debt materials that we've been talking about for the next couple of years. And lastly, in general, commodity prices are at relatively healthy levels and they provide for stable overall stable credit quality. Sure. Okay. Then let's get a bit more specific, Tom. What are the what are the subsectors in, in the commodity space that were maybe more favorably more, more favorably positioned, or that we have a different a more positive view on, and why? We talk about the commodity space. We're talking about a wide swath of industries and companies. So what I'm trying to do is hit some of the highlights and some of the reasons that's going to be driving it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the oil patch first. Uh, it's holding true to its acronym. It's black gold. Oil prices are, are very high right now, pretty much driven by tight supply and fears uh, out of the Middle East, particularly with the Iran situation. Mm -hmm. If we move on to the metals and mining space, we can break that out between base and precious metals. And when I talk about base metals, we're pretty much talking about copper, aluminum, nickel. And those prices have come down a little bit, but they're still, they're still reasonably healthy for credit quality. And what's happening is uh, demand from China has been insatiable, and it continues to drive prices there. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on to precious metals, uh, gold in particular. Gold is trading at near all-time record levels, and it's been pretty much trading like a currency, as we know. It doesn't really abide by the supply and demand factors that drive some of the base metals. Um, gold prices are mirroring inflation concerns, uh, concerns about the global economy and on a trading against the U.S. dollar, which continues to remain weak. If we move into the steel markets, uh, flat roll steel has done very well. Uh, prices are holding up, it's particularly uh, with auto demand being, being, being healthy. And the OCTG market, which is oil country tubular goods, and as I talked about earlier, oil prices are, are um, providing for an uh, enormous amount of drilling activity in North American shale plays mm -hmm. and globally as well. Moving on to the paper and forestry segment, I think for, for overall wood prices, which mirror housing starts in the housing market, will remain relatively stable. Uh, paper, however, continues to remain in a secular decline as consumers continue to move to other forms of electronic media. Um, for the chemical segment, uh, the fourth quarter was kind of rough, largely due to a lot of destocking. However, uh, it looks like for the year we're going to see margin improvement and we predict another stable outlook there. Some of the drivers is that they've been able to pretty much pass through high oil prices, raw material costs. Um, they're going to benefit from low uh, energy costs, which particularly natural gas prices, which are very low. And they're, move, they're shifting out of uh, high NAFTA prices, which are oil-based, to NGL as a feedstock, natural gas liquids, which are lower priced. Mm -hmm. uh, and lastly, talking about the home builders, um, building material space, I think we believe that for the most part that the housing market is probably bottoming out this year. Um, but, however, clearly it's going to remain vulnerable to economic shock. Okay, so, so last question, uh, I, I think it would be obvious, th the obvious next question would be, okay, with, with that being said, maybe more positively disposed, what are the ones that we have more concern about when it comes to of the subsectors of credit quality in, in the near term? Well, I touched on natural gas prices. Um, natural gas prices have been beaten up pretty badly and they deteriorate quite rapidly. The prompt's a little over 250 right now. Uh, reasons for that have been a continued oversupply in the market as companies continue to drill. Uh, horizontal drilling has made it much more economic, more efficient. Companies are well hedged uh, and they're going to continue to, and, and natural gas is becoming a byproduct out of some NGL and oil wells. So uh, we're seeing uh, the supply being dictated by uh, byproduct credit from natural gas. Um, we don't expect a recovery anytime this year in that market. Uh, also, coal prices are, are coming down and uh, part of the reason is because of the warm winter, and also we're seeing utilities switch to lower cost natural gas prices. It's economic right now to burn natural gas for, for energy. Lastly, uh, in the steel market, rebar, which is an outlier there. Uh, rebar prices are, are pretty weak. Uh, commercial metals comes to mind. We think about one of the companies that are exposed to that, and we've taken some recent negative rating actions there. Uh, rebar prices are highly tied to the commercial construction market, which we expect to remain weak this year. 
That's great. Appreciate you joining, Tom. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. We'll see you again next time.